Hi everybody, Brian here. Today I'm going to show you how to add help files into your subassemblies through SubAssembly Composer. So here I have SubAssembly Composer open. I have a super simple subassembly created. It's got two points with a link, it's static, it doesn't do anything, but that's not the point here. The point that we're trying to get into is how do we go about adding a help file here. Down here towards the bottom right, we have a series of tabs. Now, if your user interface is still set to the defaults, they'll show up down here. If not, go find them. Just as a tip, if you can't find them, you can always come up here to your view and restore the default layout, and it'll put them back down here in the bottom right. And where you want to go is to the packet settings here. In the packet settings, there is an option to choose a help file. So really, all you need to do is simply browse to it. Grab, click on the button with the three dots. That's your ellipsis. And browse to the file. Now, you have different types of files that you can choose from. So there's HTM, HTML, PDF, doc, text, those types of things. Just as a tip, these don't work. No, no they don't. I, I don't know why they're even listed here. They don't work. What you want is a CHM file. So here's one I've created. Uh, it's called, it, it created it in a previous video. If you want to figure out how to create them, they're fairly simple to create, not too complex. I'm sure there'll be a link around here somewhere for you to go see that video. I simply choose that, choose open, and save the subassembly, and you're good to go. Now, what I've done is I already created a couple of subassemblies. One of them has a CHM as a help file. The other has a PDF as a help file. So let's see how they work. So I'm going to right click on, so I want to add them to my tool palette. So here in Civil 3D, simply right click on one of your tabs on your tool palettes, and I'm going to create a new palette. You don't have to do this, but it kind of makes sense to. And I'll call this one custom. So these are going to be my custom subassemblies. I want to import those subassemblies in here, so I'm going to right click on the tab in my palette and I'll import the subassemblies. Simply browse to them. So here are those two subassemblies I was talking about. One of them has a CHM help file, the other has a PDF help file. I'll just go ahead and bring both of those in at the same time. There they are. Now, what do you typically do when you want to find out some information on a subassembly? Well, you right click on the subassembly and you choose help. And it brings up the Civil 3D help for us. Beautiful. The subassembly help is fantastic. Definitely want to check it out. So if I come over here to my custom subassemblies, do the same thing for the one that was created from a PDF help file, choose help, it brings up the Civil 3D help and says, I can't find it. Wow, that's great. What's another way to get to help? Well, you can insert the subassembly into your drawing. So I'll just insert this as a detached subassembly. Go to the subassembly properties on the parameters tab. I can then go directly to the subassembly help. And once again, this doesn't work. There, it, it can't do it. So PDF files, you, you just want to avoid them. This one here, this one was created using a CHM file. So I'm going to right click on it, choose help. And lo and behold, it brings up the help file, that help file that I created. Right. When I insert that subassembly into my drawing, and again, I go to the subassembly properties, the parameters tab, click on the subassembly help. Again, it brings up that same help file for me. So if you want to use a help file within your subassemblies, make sure it's a CHM file. Hope you learned something. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it.